a we have minus, let's put the red probe here in the minus. Here we should get a reading about 500, good. Here also we should get the same reading about 500. And here a double reading or a double voltage. So this is a good bridge rectifier. If we switch the probes, we should get nothing. Nothing here, nothing here, and nothing here also means this is a good bridge rectifier hi everyone so in this video i'm going to show you how to test bridge rectifiers step by step so as you can see the bridge rectifier contains four pins here we have plus okay here we have ec these two terminals and here we have minus okay so the same for all bridge rectifiers as you can see it contains four pins so i'm going to show you step by step all about bridge rectifier this day okay so here also you can find a bridge rectifiers like that just four diodes separately okay as you can see we have four diodes in the circuit board so i'm going to show you how to test these five bridge rectifiers step by step in order to master the bridge rectifier testing so of course we are gonna use the multimeter and we are gonna select the diode option because the bridge rectifier contains four diodes inside it so let's begin with this bridge rectifier as you can see we have here minus and here we have ec and plus always this edge this cutted edge like this means the positive terminal okay so here this is the reference of for this bridge rectifier if you want to change it to replace it so to test the bridge rectifier you should put the red probe of the multimeter in the minus okay and check with other pins basically you should find a reading between these two leads also the same reading between the two leads and between minus and plus lead you should find the double reading or double drop voltage as you can see okay so if we swap or switch the probes we should not get anything so nothing here nothing and also here nothing means this is a good bridge rectifier okay you can also check it by putting the black probe in the plus terminal. Here we get a reading, about 600. Here we should get about the same reading, 600. And here we should get a double reading or a double drop voltage. Means this is a good bridge rectifier. So let's check these two rectifiers also using the same working principle. Here we have minus. Let's put the red probe here in the minus. Here we should get a reading about 500. Good. Here also we should get the same reading about 500. And here a double reading or a double voltage. So this is a good bridge rectifier. If we switch the probes, we should get nothing nothing here nothing here and nothing here also means this is a good bridge rectifier let's check this also using the same working principle we have the minus here we should put the red probe in the minus we get a reading okay here also we get a reading about 800 or 600 here double reading this is a good bridge rectifier if we switch the probe of course nothing here we should get nothing and nothing means this is a good bridge rectifier right now let's check these bridge rectifiers in the circuit board we have just diodes so basically you can check this bridge rectifier using the same working principle or using another method that i'm going to show you here as you can see we have diodes here we have four diodes in the back of the circuit board so here as you can see we have anodes this is the anode connected to the anode of this diode means here we have the minus or the negative terminal here we have minus two anodes connected together okay and here we have cathode as you can see connected to cathode means here we have plus 
okay exactly the same as this bridge rectifier here we have plus means two cathodes connected together as you can see in the symbol here we have minus means two anodes connected together so to check this bridge rectifier we can simply check separately each diode here this is a good diode let's check the second one here we get a reading if we swap the probes no reading so here we get a reading if we switch the probes no reading this is a good diode for this also we get a reading here if we swap the probes no reading means this is a good diode this means a good bridge rectifier we have also here four diodes means a bridge rectifier here composite of four diodes as you can see we test this bridge rectifier you can simply test the diodes separately as you can see here okay so let's test the first diode of course you should put always the red probe in the anode and the black probe in the cathode okay so let's check the second one we have a reading if we switch the probes we should get nothing nothing means this is a good diode let's check the third one we get a reading if we swap the probes no reading this is a good diode the last one we get a reading if we swap the probes no reading means this is a good diode also and of course if you want to learn about how to test other electronic components including mosfets transistors diodes resistors inductors fuses transformer surface mount devices and true hole technology components and much much more things you are in the right place just subscribe and hit the notification bell and you will be notified for new videos by the way i upload new video every day and don't forget to like the video if you find it worth it